Hey there, Wally here, and I'm going to do a quick update on my Joy-Con drift issues with my Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. It's been a little while since my last video, and I will link that video in the description if you're curious to watch it, and you should, because it goes over my entire issues with these Joy-Cons I've had since 2017 at the Nintendo Switch's launch. And I got uh, four Joy-Cons total, so two Joy-Con sets. So the ones that came included with Nintendo Switch, and then I bought a second pair, and all four of them or showing signs of Joy-Con drift, which made characters in the camera move all willy-nilly and all crazy, and, and mine was pretty intense. But recently, I went ahead and went to Nintendo's website, which I will also link in the description, and in my region, I was able to ship all four of my Joy-Cons to Nintendo free of charge. All I had to do was print out a shipping label, and even that, you could have done it, I could have done it straight through my my phone and had the the shipping information on there. So it was a very easy, quick, simple process. It took about three weeks to ship them and get them back. So now with all that out of the way, let's jump in to testing out how good these controllers are. And uh, it, there's gonna be a little bit cheating, but I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So calibrate control sticks. That's where we are in Nintendo Switch settings. I'm gonna press down on the left one. Now this one used to look like this, uh, all crazy when I wasn't touching it. So let's go ahead and hold up, and perfection, right? Even more perfection, down and left, as it should be. All of them return to center, how it should be done. And now let's do the circle test, which is very important, because my old ones used to look like this. It used to go uh, on the bottom part, used to hug the outer rim, but on the top, it wouldn't even get that far. So my left Joy-Cons, both of them, the one you're seeing on camera and off, work as they are, are supposed to. Now let's go back out, and I'm going to press in on the right analog or the, the right Joy-Cons analog. So let's hold up and do the same thing in all four directions and see if they return to the center. And they sure do. And the circle test, it's just most important. That's awesome. Now, I mentioned a little bit previously that it's a little bit cheating, and that's because my left Joy-Cons were so bad, Nintendo actually gave me brand new left Joy-Cons. Both of them were so horribly broken, most likely, that these left ones were just entirely new Joy-Cons, and I, I know that because the back side of these right Joy-Cons had markings from my Nintendo Switch grip, and they came back with the same markings. These left ones felt new, looked new, uh, I don't know, smelled new, who knows, uh, taste new? Eh, I didn't taste it. But they definitely came back brand new Joy-Cons, uh, you know, fresh off the presses, and it was really cool seeing that Nintendo went that far uh, above and beyond, I guess, to fix a mistake that, uh, you know, the Joy-Cons had. So these left ones, uh, a bit cheating because I knew that they would not show any, well hopefully they would not show any drifting because they're brand new, but these right ones were definitely fixed. So I am very happy overall, but then there's only one more test to do, this chest, uh, test out our Joy-Con drifting if there is any. Let's go into the same game I played last time, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and move the character around. So here we are in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and I am just going to hold up. I'm going to hold the run button, and I'm going to let go of up to see if my character keeps on running by himself And the moment of truth. No, it's fine again. Everything is fine as it should be. Nothing is awry. And I am happy. I'm not going to move the right analog stick too much, but even just one tap of it. Uh, in the old days, before I had these fixed and replaced, the camera would just keep on spinning by itself, and that's no good in any kind of game, especially like Monster Hunter. And with a new Monster Hunter on the horizon, I really am happy that I got these taken care of. If you're on the fence of doing it, uh, if you have the option of doing this, and especially if it's for free in your, re in your region, then I definitely recommend you going out, going to the website, and sending your Joy-Cons in. Uh, you know, you might not have them for a while. I kind of stopped playing Switch for, for a little bit. I do have third-party, you know, wired controllers I could play with, but I really do love these controllers. I love playing in handheld mode, and now I can do that again. Uh, so thank you for watching my update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video. That means the world to me. As always, thanks for joining the party, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.